I am Anil Kumar and in this video we have two very interesting questions on ratios and I hope these will give you a good concept and understanding of solving questions relating to ratios. First one is the ratio of boys to girls in a class is 2 is to 3. If there are 18 boys in the class then how many are girls? And the second question is similar with minor difference and this one is the ratio of boys to girls in a class is 3 is to 4. If there are 35 students in the class, then how many are girls? So I'd like you to pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Let's begin with the very first one, which is the ratio of boys to girls in a class is 2 is to 3. So what we are given is that boys is to girls is equal to 2 is to 3. Now the second statement is that there are 18 boys in the class, then how many are girls? So if the boys are 18, we want to find the number of girls. So that is the ratio question, right? Now to solve such question, what you need to do is see the relation. So from 2 to 18, how do we get there? To go there, we have to multiply by 9, correct? So apply the same rule for 3. So 3 times 9 is what? So do 3 times 9 over just 27. So that gives you the answer. So therefore the answer is, if the boys are 18, then the number of girls is 27. So we are looking for a scale factor in this case, correct? So the solution lies in finding out the scale factor, correct? So in the first case, we find scale factor. We say scale factor here is 9 and that gives us the answer right now let's look into the second question it says the ratio of boys to girls in the class is 3 is to 4 there are 35 students in the class then how many are girls now this question is slightly different what we are really given is total number of students now in such questions we have to look into ratio slightly differently we know ratio of boys to girls is 3 is to 4. But what are we given? We are given the total number. So let us add one more ratio here and that is the total number, right? Total of boys and girls given to us is 35. Do you get the idea? So in our case, we are given the total. So what we are going to do? We will write down the total here. 35. That is given to us. But if I add 3 and 4, what do I get? If I add 3 and 4, I get 7. Do you get the point, right? So, if the ratio is 3 is to 4, the total number of boys and girls will be 7. Now, we are given total number of students as 7. So, now again, we can find the scale factor. So, what is the scale factor now? 7 to 35, the scale factor is 5. If you divide 35 by 7, you get 5, correct? And therefore, multiply each term by 5. What is 5 times 3? So you do 5 times 3, you get boys, which is 15. And then you do 5 times 4, you get the number of girls, which is 20. And when you add them, you do get 35. You get the idea. So whenever you have ratio questions, Either of these two strategies are followed. So if you are given the number of boys and girls, right, it could be apples and oranges at times. And if you are given one of them, then find the scale factor directly. But if you are given the total, then add one more factor to it. And that is the total. And relate how the totals have a scale factor. Find the scale factor from the total and then evaluate. I hope this strategy will help you to solve most of the questions on ratios. I am Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.